Hey everybody, welcome back to Flannel Panic with Dark Souls 3. I'm gonna fight this mimic. I'm gonna die. Are you ready? Yeah, I already know you're gonna die. I wanna use the mail breaker. Can I use the club? Can I use the sword? No. I wanna use the club. I can only use the club with both hands, but... hey <laughs> It just eats you right away. <laughs> Those things are... Nightmare oh, fuel. Oh man. They're, They're actually pretty easy, you just can't get hit, because yeah. they will kill you. Especially yeah. with that, because that will eat you. Oh, shit! And then you will be locked in the treasure chest forever. No, nah, you just die. <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> then somebody opens it up. Oh, God! Ooh. <sighs> hey! Hey! And it's somebody hey, comes on, hang up. On, hang on. <laughs> hey! Hooray! <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no one there. You killed them all. A bunch of people died here. I'm gonna leave a message. It's likely to get rated. Um, ahead. Creatures. No, wait. I'll just do monstrosity. Screw it. And then. Point out. Oh. That's very helpful. I don't know if that's close enough, but fu <laughs> that guy's getting eaten. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, oh, that was real. I said that really loudly. Shit. Sorry, capture. Sorry, future Tori. <laughs> I just imagine you edit it and you put your headphones on. And you're just like, oh, oh no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then that part there. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. What else is new? No, you just speak louder than I do. I'm very soft-spoken. Soft-spoken. I can't help it. I can't help it. Hey, Ow! 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 What an asshole. He was just hiding in the corner and he came up and sliced off his face. It's not my fault, he was gonna kill me! Probably I you. just wanted to sell you a magazine. Right. <laughs> I wanted to raise money for the Boys and Girls Club. Blah. Blah. Oh man. Hooray. Does it look quieter on the capture than it was before, or am I thinking weirdly? I think you're thinking weirdly. Okay. Just checking the epitome of professionalness. We're, it's okay. We're still a baby channel. We're still babies. Goo. Goo ga. <laughs> goo ga 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 ga. <laughs> goo goo ga 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 ga. Ra ra. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so loud. I'm so sorry. Loudness. Around. Another South Park joke for you, the the We're Sorry uh, montage. Have you seen those episodes? No, I don't think so. It's uh, Coon and Friends. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, the BP oil spill. And, oh. the, uh, and oh. the CEO is just <laughs> like, and we, uh, we would like to say that we are deeply sorry. And it gets progressively more like... <laughs> like nude and like <laughs> cutesy. Yeah. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> oh man. I've only recently started hey, watching yo. South Park because when I was younger again, old timey stories with jazz, I didn't appreciate the humor of it because I was too young to understand it. So that led to me not liking the show. That's fair. Yeah. And I, I just uh, never like went back to it until recently. Oh yeah. I um I've been watching it since like middle school, I think. Since like 2007 or 8. Oi. I was like out of high school in 2008. Oof. I'm young. You old. You're a bad Ow. Ow. My giblets. No, camera. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the true enemy of any game. The camera. I was gonna say the true enemy of Kingdom Hearts. The true enemy of Kingdom Hearts is the camera, the first game at least. The second game too. The second and game is not as bad, but the first game camera controls are terrible. And then Birth by Sleep, like when you lock on, you can't see yourself. So that leads to you dying a lot. 
Were you the one that I spent like two hours trying to figure out the like timeline of Xemnas's like yeah. plot? It was Xehanort, but yes. Oh yeah, that was ridiculous. Essentially, uh, spoilers to Kingdom Hearts. That? Uh, spoilers to the Kingdom Hearts series. It's, it's like time travel. It's like <laughs> it's like eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> like, screw anyone who hasn't played it yet. Well, they're getting ready to release all six games on the PlayStation 4, so now's your chance. Hey, <laughs> It, like, comes out in March. Oh, terrible timing, though, because you bought a PS3 for that exact reason. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to debate what I want to do with said PS3. If I'm going to trade it in and just get the collection because I'll have all the games on one system. Or keep the PS3 because there are some good games on it that are not on PS4. But... Either way, I was really pissed when they announced it. Either way, PS4 is the future. Yeah, until the PS5 comes out, like, in six months. Get on my level, noob. <laughs> PC and Master Gaming Race! But you can't play Kingdom Hearts! That is true. But uh, after the first game, I'm not really missing much. Well, the second game's fun to play gameplay-wise, but the story is lacking. Oh, yeah. I, this, the, the, it's, it was really a chain of memories that started the convoluted stuff. Yes. And it wasn't a good game to begin with. I haven't played it yet. Um, it, it has like a card based uh, combat system. I've and like if you run out of cards, you just like can't do anything. Yeah, I've seen it played. Oh, it's, oh, it's garbage. It. Yeah. Um, but I know, like, where the lore really just kind of went over the edge was Kingdom Hearts 3D for the 3DS. Um, that's when you find out, like, what Xehanort's plan is with Kingdom Hearts and with Sora and the other Keyblade wielders. Which, would you like to take the time to explain it to me and our <sighs> adoring fan? <laughs> our adoring <laughs> fan. Hi, fan. How you doing? You having a good day? That's good. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, I hate these people who put down messages that are just like, illusion ahead, and there's fucking nothing. So I'm like, be wary of liar. Ha ha! Take <laughs> that! Ha ha! Right. Be wary of right. I like you know. Sarah, so, go on about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, essentially, with Kingdom Hearts 3D, uh, you play through, like, this nightmare escape, and, um... This is after Riku and Sora are taking their Mark of Mastery exam, which was introduced in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which is like Sora, Terra, Aqua, and Vin were in the, like, training to become Keyblade Masters, and Aqua and Terra were taking their Mark of Mastery exam. So you can be a Keyblade wielder, to, but in order to be a master, you have to take the Mark of Mastery, which kind of undoes the plot of the first game. Kind of. Where it's like the Keyblade chooses you? Yeah. So now, it doesn't choose you, it's actually a test. Well, it chooses you, but in order to wield it, you have to, like, in order to master it, you have to take the test. But also, there's a scene in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 where uh, Sora drops his Keyblade, and I believe it's uh, Roxas. It's like he sticks his keyblade through the hole of it. Is it Roxas? I can't remember. Somebody sticks this, uh, something in the hole of the key. Wait, which which game are you talking about? Kingdom Hearts 2. I believe it's the Kingdom Roxas Hearts fight. 2? Yeah. Where he's like, his or his keyblade is like across the way or something like that. And he puts his hand out and Roxas is kind of like watching him like, okay, what are you going to do? And the keyblade comes back to him and he's all shocked. And I never really understood that because Roxas... Is Sora and wields Keyblade, so that never made that scene never made sense to me. And again, back to Dream Drop Distance, which you find out is that Sora is not a master; it's actually Riku who passes the Mark of Mastery exam. So Sora is just somebody who's lucky and knows how to swing the Keyblade. Like literally, all the all the games after the first one were just like, yeah, Sora's just some kid. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, a little let down. Yeah. Oh. But uh, for uh, the thing with Riku is like, you know, he's like this on this redeeming quest after the first game to kind of be like, I don't want to embrace the darkness, and then like in the second game. Or, yeah, in the second game, 
when you find out what who he is and where he was or whatever and he embraced the darkness in order not to embrace the darkness to save Sora and I never understood that like if you're gonna take that path just let him you know grow as a character and leave that part of his past behind but I guess it was more so for the reveal which wasn't like a big one if you played the first game it's just like oh okay <laughs> you got it right away and then like especially if you play Rechain of Memories because you know what his keyblade looks like and he uses it to fight you with the second visit to Mulan's world so you're like oh yeah. <laughs> yeah and I don't know I never understood that the way the story is it's very convoluted very like very many plot holes and to kind of finish off what I was saying about Dream Drop Distance uh, basically you find out Organization 13 is like essentially Xehanort uh, from different timelines um, and like two other people I believe whose body he has like infused some of his heart into and they've turned evil so if you know Zigbar which is the sniper dude that you fight in Kingdom Hearts 2 and kind of like that surfer dude like oh Roxas you know that one super annoying fight uh the reason why he has a gray streak in his hair is because he is part of Xehanort. Uh, Rock suck. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, if you know Syax, the moon guy, uh, he has lighter blue hair than he did when he was a human uh, because he is also part of Xehanort. And it's just a really weird like in-game reveal and it's like... And uh, uh... Uh, the Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts 2 is actually when uh, it's actually when Master Xehanort takes over a different guy's body. Yeah, it, he took over Terra's body from birth by sleep, which is uh, Zimnus. Um, and and some uh, the Seeker of Darkness. Yes. Um, in this fucking game. Yeah, <laughs> but can't. you. The, I guess the biggest thing that you find out about nobodies is that they had their hearts all along, so they wake up, and then, uh... I actually read, um, something that's not entirely true. Nobodies can develop hearts. Yeah. But they don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, uh, Axel, who is now a Keyblade wielder for some reason, because he's popular. Um, well, his name is Leah, so... That's Add an X to your name. That's your organization name. Pretty much. That's your nobody's name. <laughs> but uh, Axel becomes a Keyblade wielder at the end of the... Well, Leah, because he wakes up and he's human at the end of the game. And he's like, oh, dude. And then, like, Mickey, Kyrie, and Kyrie, I think, are, like, in a room and they're talking. And then he just, like, pulls out a Keyblade. It's like, look what I can do. It's just like... No, the check rams are really cool and they catch on fire. <sighs> Sad face. I don't know. I could go on for like hours about Kingdom Hearts lore and I'm not gonna like bore you more than I've already have. So I'll stop talking about it. No, that was pretty interesting. I enjoyed that story. Yeah. I mean, I like Kingdom Hearts a lot. I would like to play it eventually on the channel, especially Kingdom Hearts 2 because I'm pretty decent at that game. Well, we'd have to get a capture software first for the PS whatever. That's why I said. Oh wait, no. PS4 has it built in. Oh, that's why I said eventually. Yeah. But definitely would like to play like the series and talk about the crappy story and experience some of the story that you have not seen yet. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I like the I like the story of the first game. The second one's kind of phoned in, and all the Disney characters are like, "I am the most basic version of this character from the movie." <laughs> Pretty much. Which was a big letdown. Oh yeah, it was stupid. And then in order to give you extra content so the game was long enough, they made you redo everything yeah. again. I can honestly say, like, uh, my least favorite worlds were probably the Pirates of the Caribbean world in, um, uh, sometimes the Lion King world because it's big and empty, but Lion Sword is very adorable. You know what I think is absolutely ironic? What? That America cares the most about censoring guns out of video games. Yeah, uh, cause uh, what she's referencing 
referencing it's like in the the pirates of the caribbean world port royal there's a scene from the movie uh where will turner like points the gun at himself in the movie in the japanese version of the game it's there in the american version he like drops the gun but it's actually like a crossbow because guns are not prevalent in the game but they make gunshot noises which is pretty funny <laughs> and it reminds me of um there's one episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> where um bandit keith is like, have you seen that show before? Yes. All right, so Banda Keith like hops up at Pegasus and is like, "You're gonna give me all your money." It's just like aggressively pointing at Pegasus, but you know he's supposed to have a gun. It's the same thing with the banned Pokemon episode for the Safari Zone, and also uh, many banned things. Yeah. Ah, America, am I right? Da 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 da. Just let me. Give me a second. I know. Jeez, I know we're out of time. I was just reminding you. You broke the magic. Blah! And you broke his crotch. <laughs> alright, alright, so we're officially out of time, and I'm standing in front of the second boss arena. So I'll see you guys all later. Thank you so much for watching Fatal P Flannel Planet, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>